Hi, Internet. Welcome to Stop and Think, the Puzzle Channel. I'm John Appleseed, your host, and today we have something a little different. The New York Times crossword, as well as uh, connections and some of the other New York Times puzzles, are a staple here on the channel. However, the good folks at the New York Times Tech Guild are on strike. They are the people who build and maintain the technology that helps us enjoy those puzzles. They have asked that until the strike is resolved that people not use the uh, website or app to play the puzzles, and I certainly want to respect that. So um, I will not uh, play the uh, New York Times crossword puzzle or connections until the strike is re resolved. Uh, but they have thoughtfully provided this website, NewYorkTimesGuild.org. I will include a link in the description down below. And they have some games to keep us occupied until the strike is resolved. Some of them are modeled on connections or uh, Wordle. This version is called Strikle. And there are uh, other games here we'll take a look at, but I certainly want to play the connections game. And so let's get into it. As with the regular connections game, we have uh, 16 words or phrases and we need to sort them into four categories. I'm going to make my head a little uh, smaller and move it up here so we can see them all. And we need to uh, create four categories. Each one will be uh, contain four words or phrases that are linked somehow. So the things we have to work with today are Lilo and Stitch, Joy, Lion King, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, Embarrassment, Denial, Acceptance, Anxiety, Dune, Princess Diaries, Sadness, Bargaining, Anger, Spirit, and Inception. And I see some Disney movies right off the bat, Monsters, Inc., Lion King, Lilo, Stitch, and Finding Nemo. I think that might be a... Uh, a red herring. If this were a win a loop puzzle, I certainly would consider it a red herring. So let's come back to that. Princess Diaries, I think, is also an animated or a Disney movie, but not animated. Um, and then we see some of these emotions that may be characters from um, that other Disney movie whose title I can't think of right now. Then we also have some uh, the phases of the. Um, the grieving process, denial, acceptance, and bargaining. Bargaining particularly uh, appropriate while uh, the guild is on strike. Um, so, but I don't know the, the fourth one. Sadness or a anger, I think, might be one. But I'm not sure about that either. Inception, we've got another movie title. And Dune, another movie title. Hmm. So where to start with? Maybe we start with, with Dune. Um, Dune a movie, Dune a, uh, a landform on a beach. So if we're going just with movie titles, we've got quite a few options. So I would want to winnow some of these down. So let's come back to that. I like this uh, stages of grief one. Is anger one of the stages of grief? I think it is. Let's try that. Yeah, stages of grief. There we go. Okay. Um, so then what? We've got these animated Disney movies. I'm going to try this. No, it went away. Okay, it was a red herring. Um, so then what? If it's going to be Disney movies... But then we have to find out which of the animated movies is going to go off. So let's see. Joy, embarrassment, sadness, and anxiety. I think those were all um, characters in that movie whose name I can't think of. Inside Out. Inside Out 2, two uh, specifically. Okay, there we go. We got that. So now what? Spirit and Inception. I don't... Spirit. Spirit could be a movie title. I've seen parts of Inception on an airplane. It looked like it might be a little <laughs> hard to follow. Just um, watching it on somebody watching it on the seat next to me, which is its own Inception, I guess. Um, well, I already, I already guessed the four animated Disney movies, and that was wrong. So if we go Dune, Sand Dune, if, if Dune is not a movie title, what would it be? Dune Buggy. So 
Tomophone of Lorna Dune, maybe. Hmm. Which of these animated movie titles would fit in some other category? I don't know. And I don't, I feel like Dune and Spirit will go in the same category, but I don't know how they are related. Unless there's, maybe there's a, a was Timothy Chalamet in Inception? I don't think he was. Maybe he was in a, in Spirit. Was he in Princess Tyrese? I don't know. Um, let's try Dune, Spirit, Inception, and Lion King. Just a guess. Oh, <laughs> movie scored by Hans Zimmer. That was a very lucky guess. I did not know that. I would never have guessed that. I knew Hans Zimmer scored The Lion King, um, but I did not know any of those others. Okay, and now we've got Disney movies. Princess Diaries is not animated, but it is Disney, I think. And somehow I've moved down. There we go. 2,000 Disney movies with a sequel. All right, that's a little specific, but I'm going to give myself full credit for that. Okay, so some errors there, but that was a good way to spend a few minutes. Uh, should we try Strikle? I guess this works the same way as Wordle. Uh, I don't play Wordle very often. Um, I like crosswords because I, I like the trivia element to them or the, the kind of figuring out the joke or how, the, how things are related. But things like Wordle or Scrabble that are you have to have a good vocabulary for, I'm, I'm less uh, enthusiastic about. But let's try this. I know, um, can we get into it? Maybe it can't work. All right, I can't figure out how to work it. So, um, but I guess it works the same as Wordle. Shall we? <laughs> Let's take a look at all of these. So this is uh, Striker. I have uh, kind of played around with this already. It is basically a Frogger game. You use the arrow keys to get this little frog, which now makes me think of uh, George Costanza. We can just zip across. There we go. All right, so that's fun. We've got uh, Scabby's Fair Contract Builder, which is a basic game. We need to, um, there are things falling from the sky. The bad proposals for management are red. The good proposals are green. We need to collect the green ones and avoid the red ones. So let's start. And here they are starting. We're going to miss the red one. Don't, how did that get in there? All right, here's a green one I want. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Maybe while they're on strike, they're not putting a lot of effort into these <laughs> these games, but that's fine. They've got other things to worry about. Um, and we've got a mini crossword. Let's see if that one works. A moving reaction image could be a GIF. That's the pronunciation I prefer. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. Uh, four across is Judd Apatow's daughter with a role in the TV show Euphoria. I don't know that. All right, six. What kind of power? Blank power. I don't know that. Seven geographical features that are opposite of three down. We'll come back to that. Eight across a vehicle design in which a car's engine powers the foremost wheel. That's front wheel drive, FWD, I think. The arrow keys don't seem to work on the grid. They're working on the screen, so I'll leave those alone. Um, four down, a cozy accessory to keep hands warm is a muff, I think. You see... Um, Caroler, car Christmas carolers using them in old timey pictures. Five down, once more, a new probably. One down, um, oh, is one one down is the New York Times Tech Guild, the folks who are on strike. Two down, Billy who sings Rebel Yell, that's Billy Idol. And three down, low lying marshes, I think, are fens. All right, so Maud is uh, Judd Apatow's daughter. Union, okay, appropriate. What kind of power? Union power, there we go. And fells are the opposites of fens. Okay, that's a little difficult. Okay, there we go, that was fun. And then we've also got um, some trivia and jokes, a version of Hangman called Strike Man. Guild Adventure, I looked at this. This is kind of like a, um, 
one of those old interactive video games. What was the big one? I can't remember now, but like it would give you a scenario. You'd pick which thing you wanted to do and then it would move the story. Kind of like choose your own adventure books, but as a video game. Oh, and then this is a uh, like a Pong kind of game. This is, this is kind of fun, a little difficult. All right, so that's fun. All right, a lot of uh, good ways to uh, to support the the uh, labor movement and fair pay and fair wages and um, better working conditions and still have a little fun doing it. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.